Hi there, I'm Bill, and I'm here to make you rich. Wars are now economic, so let me show you how to start your own silent economic war. But first, I need to slip into something a little more comfortable. To be rich, first, you need to snag yourself a poor country in need of infrastructure, preferably one with lots of natural resources. And, key point this, it must have some people who can be later labeled terrorists. But we'll come to that later. Then you find leaders who can be corrupted or hoodwinked in return for a couple of <coughs> terms in the contract. Now, get your pinstripe army of consultants to advise on how best the impoverished country should deal with their natural resources and building contracts. You use those terms to lock governments into aid deals with debt strings that are, well, impossible to repay. Don't you love that marketing? Man, who thought of this? Oh, yeah, me! <laughs> Private corporations then go in and cream off infrastructure and resource profits, and you stay home and count your massive cut, which your spouse and kids spend on shit they don't need. And here's the genius bit. Improving infrastructure is positive, right? We're doing them a favor, right? Kind of. You see, because of our infrastructure, landowners' land values start to increase, so the landlord pushes up the rent, which means the landless can no longer afford to stay. But hey, there's always room for them in the slums. Man, I hate those pesky peasants. Displaced from their land, the peasants naturally get angry and seek revenge. Terrorists! We finally found some of them. Boy, I've been looking all over for those little terrorists. Now, I gotta tell you, I love those pesky peasants when they're terrorists. Between you and me, economic slavery, <coughs> I, I, I mean, uh, man-made poverty, I mean, I mean uh, poverty, make it history, will continue so long as rich countries keep digitally invading poor countries with the cheapest, most lethal weapon in the world, spreadsheets. Oh, and... Did I mention that we're doing God's work? So if you have an entrenched government, a violent dictator, or natural resources that other corporates may want, call now for an over-the-phone quote with obligation. Your country's at risk if you don't keep up repayments.